Hi, it's Mike with Litchfield Beekeeping. Today we're going to be talking about the base that we're going to be utilizing for our beehives. Uh, it's a wonderful March day, in fact pretty sunny out right now, 60 degrees is supposed to get to today. So great time to be working out in the shop, uh, not working in the house. Uh, I'm going to give you some dimensions on this. Uh, I would ask you to keep in mind that I am using a rough cut lumber. So if you're going to be using dimensional lumber from the, the box stores, your dimensions are going to be slightly uh, off from what I give you. So you'll need to make that, that those changes. Um, overall dimension of this is uh, 60 inches long, uh, 20 inches wide. I've chosen to, to make it the exact dimension as the uh, high boxes. Uh, I know that I'm going to have the the landing pad for the bottom board is going to be sticking proud of this, but I'm fine with that. I wanted to make sure that I had all the weight over the top of this frame. This is also set up so that we can have uh, one hive on one side and another hive on the other side. And then this, the area in the center is going to be where we can uh, set equipment as we're working the hive. So let's talk about uh, the sizes that I cut so far. Uh, the spreaders on these are are cut to 16 and a half inches. Uh, again, uh, this is rough cut. My my lumber is uh, inch and three quarters uh, wide versus yours inch and a half. So you'll need to make those adjustments. Um, and then, as I stated earlier, we have a 50-inch uh, long uh, outside board on this. I'm also going to be assembling these with some decent-sized lags. Uh, I certainly could use just some 3-inch you know, uh, deck nails, but I kind of like to overdo things. That's just the way that I am. So I'm going to be using uh, these lags here. They're used them before. Uh, typically used uh, you know, for decking to attach to your house, but will work nicely for this. It's supposed to be self-drilling. I found, though, that it's, it's best to uh, pre-drill these, so we will be pre-drilling them. I'm not going to use any glue on this. Uh, this should suffice. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm going to go grab a clamp here real quick. But, uh, you know, we get a nice square box here. Certainly don't want to uh, just not meet my bee boxes, so just tight, square. Put three screws in each end. Alright, this uh, spreader is going to be 16 and a quarter. Okay, the dimension of the beehive.
maybe we'll just use two. That seems to be pretty strong there. And for the weight that we're going to have on this, I think that might be good. All right, so that's assembled. Now we're going to put in the uh, work area, which will be actually reclaim some uh, extra pickets that we had for our compost. Um, so that's what we're using here. So we can keep it in cedar. So that's that. I'm going to pre-drill this. This stuff is pretty dry and pretty thin. or two different hives on this as well as a, a working area, a place to put equipment in the center. Um, I have this up on a 12 by 12 paver with a concrete pier that gives the height of 15 inches. I may choose to go a little bit higher than that. I'll do that by just adding pavers underneath. That'll really depend on you know what we run into out in the field. We do have a fair number of skunks out there uh, so we'll see, you know, if if we do need to raise it up. Um, pretty simple project. Took a little bit over an hour to complete. Certainly, I edited the the film so that you wouldn't have to sit through some of the boring or listen to the the drilling and screwing throughout the process. I think I have about a hundred dollars invested in this uh, with you know the piers and the lumber. Um, and then those lags are, you know, fairly expensive compared to, you know, the standard um, lags that you you could buy. Um, but overall, it was it was pretty simple. I like the look of it. We'll see how it, it functions. I do need to make a smaller one for a, a single hive that we'll have at my uh, in-law's house. But overall, uh, pretty simple. Hey, thanks for joining us. Appreciate if you have any comments, if you can leave them below. Um, any questions, certainly uh, we'll try to answer them for you. Have a great day. Have a great summer. Enjoy your beekeeping.